Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. We are on Farming Simulator 25. I know it's a day after of the game releasing. I am actually on my way over to the farm that I have built earlier. Yes, I already built the farm earlier, but I'm going to go ahead and show the guy, you guys, is the time lapse here in a second. I just want to explain something. If it is gets a little bit like a lag spike here and there don't be too worried about it i have a high-end computer but i'm just st still trying to mess with my settings as it is a brand new game get all out of the way and explained we're gonna go ahead over to the farm and i'm gonna pull up the time lapse for you guys and me building the farm so you guys can enjoy that Crazy nights, figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's breaking. Change your mind, trying to save your time. In case you're thinking about breaking out the bucket list, girl, you can skip this funny business. Cause up there it's complicated and overrated. Down here everything is understated. That's alright by me. I got everything that. The one I bought 
I'm coming back from the store and near my farm. We actually own that field over there and about another field down the road. We're here at my farmyard, so I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and pull my truck around here or else to park it. But yeah, we got four, four pallets of seeds for our seeder and planter which the white chart uh the white tractor over there is still connected with the planner now, this really isn't the layout that i wanted to do for the farm honestly in my head it kind of went a lot smoother so I, i'm just gonna roll with it for the american farm series yes you heard it first this is the very first series on farm and cylinder 25 and without having basically zero to none mods right now this series is probably going to go on for a while until we start seeing mods in the game so all right well I forgot to buy the cattle. These baby cows are actually so adorable. Like, I'd never seen it in a farm sim game where a cow could get any more adorable. Or That's not even a word, but I still used it. Anyways, yeah, we got three baby, baby calves, and then we have three bigger cows. So this is the cattle that we're going to be doing for now. Still trying to figure out our TMR system, um, how, to, how that goes. I still got to get some equipment, but after buying everything we needed, we got $63,000 to our name. But yeah, let's go ahead and get inside here. We have to actually get the combine, uh, get this out, and then we can go ahead and get this formed up, ready to go. Let me go ahead and pull my map up. So this stands right now, the fields that we got is 65 and 60. 60 and 64 but i'm not going to be worried about 64 because i don't want to do that that's where my house is so i might just take that field out later i'm 100 sure yet but we have 65 and 60 we got corn on 60 and then soybeans on 65 we have to go ahead and i don't even have a corn header oh well we'll do the corn some other day we can get to working on our bigger fit i just had the rudder running and i shut it off yeah we have 7150 case ih axle flow combine and here is our 3050 teraflex header uh, i'm gonna go ahead and pull the combine out of here as it stands we only have two big bales which is the one next to my farm and the one down the street but we're getting to actually buy a corn header we'll, we'll worry about that one another day but i just want to go ahead and get this all done probably sell the grain if not do that some other day because I, I still got to look at the pda pda and see if we are good to go on selling things. Notice that these headers actually lock into place on the header trailer. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all done. Alrighty, well, I'm slightly in a dilemma because our things are not ready to grow. Um, so we're probably just gonna have to wait for these soybeans to grow. Alrighty, well, as you guys can see, it's December 1st. I had a little dumb moment there. I was trying to actually get my the crops to grow. We're, we are not gonna be doing that, actually. We're gonna go ahead and take the white tractor with the cultivator, and we are gonna go ahead and just get to cultivating um and we're gonna have both fields ready to go and fresh seeds this is gonna be fun considering the fact this really isn't a big cultivator <clears throat> um anyways i have this tractor already calibrated for my gps and all the fun stuff we'll go ahead and just come up here and start up there where i was already driving through by accident i already got the gps set on my white tractor now this is actually like a really cool tractor I like this tractor a lot never honestly used it before because we never had it in 22 so here is our gps we're gonna go ahead with four headlands not gonna mess with any of this other stuff i'm gonna go ahead and hit okay 
Now with this system, this is uh, our GPS, brand new to Farm Sim 25. We always had to get it on FS22 through mods and modders. I personally never got steering, like GPS and all that fun stuff in 22. Since we got it there in base game, I'm gonna use it and I'm already loving this so much, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a time lapse up for you guys. Back with you when we are halfway done. up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank, it ain't that long, till I'm back at the farm, I'm rolling up the truck, down at the dock, it's time to do some cruising, baby, get a little stuck, it's a Saturday joyride. ride, first at least is the spot, we're on a boat, we're feeling fine. Well, it's been about like a day after on the farm. I got one of my neighbors actually helping me culti finish cultivating that field. Like I said, that's a big field. I'm just gonna wait for the corn to be ready to get harvest and we'll be harvesting that probably another day. I'm just putting these seeds down. Just putting these seeds down somewhere where my cedar in that can reach because I just want them off my truck. I just want to keep them out of the weather, weather as well. So that's why I'm just gonna go ahead and put them underneath there. Like I said, I'm just waiting for my neighbor to get done cult cultivating that field over there and then we should be good to go to plant but yeah like i said i'm just waiting for my neighbor to get done cultivating over there should be good to go to actually put some seeds down not too entirely sure what i'm going to be planting yet since it is september 2nd figure it out i'm just waiting for that other field to get done or get done growing and then we can go ahead and just harvest it i don't want to take the crops out on that field because it is corn good yield on that crop as well uh th this year it looks like so look online and see how much a corn header costs so i'm gonna go ahead and do that so here's this one for eighty-eight thousand dollars. but if we get it on lease we can get it for forty four hundred dollars which i'm pretty sure i got that combine on lease so i'm just gonna go ahead and lease that and get another header trailer we just got over here to the dealership this corn header on top of the trailer got all hooked up here now i'm gonna go over to the farm like i said still waiting for the field to get done growing not sure how long it's gonna take to grow i really do not want to cultivate over the crops because like i said the corn grain usually makes pretty good money not even gonna stop no cops no stop let's go looking at the pda here we can because i completely forgot we can actually harvest that in october so we're gonna have to wait a whole even a month to harvest that cornfield over there and i really want to uh, harvest it like i said that's about the most money we could probably make so far uh, right now we only have thirty-five thousand dollars. i'm been paying uh the neighbor the neighbor kid there 
So, uh, like I said, we should be good to go to actually harvest that in the uh, October. All right, well, I'm going to leave that there for now. See if I have seeds in this or not. Let me go ahead and hook up the quad track John Deere. Pretty sure I filled this or the dealership filled that up for me before I actually got the seeder. So there's actually a couple pieces of equipment that I'm actually leasing right now. And I'm pretty sure this quad track is one of them. And I'm pretty sure that combine is too. Like I said, I only have about like two and a half million dollars. The money I have was not going to buy us everything. I can tell you that much right now. Going to go ahead and get this set up. GPS and everything calibrated real quick. All right, that's all calibrated. That's all filled with seeds. So now we have to just calibrate it to the uh, wheat. All right, well, I'm actually not going to be using the Kenzie planter or that. I got to use a small one for the wheat. I'm so sorry about the confusion. Just super hyped and stuff. Go ahead and just get the plant in here. It looks like he's almost done. So go ahead and get hooked up here with this one and then get everything all calibrated with this tractor. Looks like he is actually on his last pass. So I am going to go ahead and start down here. Weed all planted and then ready to go. Alrighty, we should be good to go. It looks like the neighbor over there is done. He, I just told him to leave the tractor there for now. Go ahead and plant this field. Ever since I started playing farm sim on FS19 before I even had a YouTube channel, this is one of by far the best farm sim uh, games that I have ever played. And I know this just released a day ago, but man, this something about this game is so beautiful. Just about the vegetation, the tractors, the lighting, everything on this game. I don't even think I'm gonna throw on shaders to be honest. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this field and I should be back with you guys when I am near the end of planting. But my neighbor did meet me over there, so he's gonna go ahead and finish here. Do not mind this. Uh, don't mind this different color of cultivation. I was experimenting. But anyways, make sure our equipment is nice and clean for the record. Look at this too. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. And the nice thing is we can actually drive these now, which is pretty cool. And go ahead and just clean this uh, tractor off in the cultivator. Look at the tire shining too. Oh, I, I can't get over this game. How nice it is, man. I'm going to go ahead and let my neighbor finish plant in the field over there and i think that's where i'm gonna end it off on today's video so if you guys did enjoy today's video make sure you let me know down in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next episode i go straight from the bank gassing up the tank cranking up the radio